All right, yo, what's up everyone? This is just a quick tutorial on how to set up your Discord webhook. So once you have your Nacho macro set up, you want to go to status and then down at Discord integration, you either have to add or change the Discord settings. So go ahead and click that and now you need your webhook URL. And how to get this, you want to go to Discord. You can do this on a browser or on the Discord app. And you want to scroll down to the bottom and click on the plus icon. This will add a server. You have to create your own server. So just do like for me and my friends, create your own for me and my friends, and you can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call it macro tutorial or something. I can't spell tutorial, so that's it. And from here on, you could change the text channels or change the name. You could literally just keep it general though, but I'm just going to call it macro one or something like that, just in case you want to add multiple accounts. And now all you want to do is just go to edit channel and then integrations. From here, you want to press create webhook. And you could copy this, but let's just create a new one. New webhook, it'll call it whatever. Once again, you can change the image name. And if you have multiple channels, you can select which channel to put it in. All right, now you just got to copy webhook URL. And never mind, you have to turn it on first and then press the paste button and there it is now here you obviously have like screenshots it'll take screenshots of all of these things that it says and it'll also ping you if you turn this on you also have to put your user ID here and how to get your user ID you just want to just say something you want to right click on yourself and then press copy user ID and it will be straight there. That's my user ID. All right, from here on, that's that's pretty much done. I can just show you an example. This is me macroing or like a while ago. And I have an hourly report. You have to have Windows 10 or above. Uh, Windows 8 or lower, this will not work. And you have all this graph here. But you also have screenshots, which we turned on. It will give you screenshots when like you convert balloon. And it will also say other things like traveling to pine tree or something. It'll also come up with errors like it did here when I turned off my PC. It said error image blah blah blah. Alright that's it thanks for watching.